This is Fast Talking Eddie. We're bringing you the Texans versus the Cardinals preseason. It seems that the Chicago Bears proved my point. Mike Dicker got rid of HT Bum. And guess who picked him up? Tom Landry, Texans. <laughs> HT Bum, along with, uh, let's see who else. You got Victor, Timothy A., Monica Yo Yo, Jessica. You got Roger Starback, Johnny Unitas, Joseph Randall, Ernie McMillan, J.J. Watt, Scandrick. And then the Cardinals team, Sabrina, Jared, Carol, Roger Worley, Geno Smith, John Island, Bob Lilly, Jack Tatum, and a bunch of others. So we're going to see H.C. Bomb again, but this time... And the Texans, and I'm sure it's where he's going to stay. We're in Phoenix, Arizona. There is Tom Landry. Styling and profiling, it's super expensive too. All the chaos they created last season with the Patriots. Oh my god. And that, oh, I hope they don't do that again this season. My body still aches from that Super Bowl. There comes H.T. Bomb, fresh from the Chicago Bears. Second down. Number 23. Who is that? I have no idea. There's the Texans team. Uh, let's see. Jessica's a newbie. Wow, first down. Avoided a sack. Getting better at it. I'm sure he's impressed. Second down, number 88, Pita, Pita, is Bob Lilly, defensive tackle, Jack Tatum, these are the Cardinals, Carroll, Jared, Carroll's a newbie, you know they're going to be uh, brought over to the Texans after this game's over, it's a given, people, it's a given, I don't know about Jack Tatum, But we'll see. First down. Number 88. Pita.
second down. I'm sure A.T. Bond will make this team, but they also got Johnny Unitas there and Roger Starback, so <laughs> don't expect him to be anything but the water boy. You know. And broadcasting. Go broadcasting. Third down. Tom Landry himself picked Johnny United. What is this? The Undertaker theme? Tom Landry's doing it again. He's trying to get the Undertaker back. Wherever he is. First down and goal. Number 88, Pita. Well, you know now, Pita is probably going to make the team. Check out the fullback. Joseph Randall. Second and go. Joseph Randall's a big name. Now it's going to be Monica Yo Yo, halfback. And touchdown. Wow. HT bump. Found his calling, Texans. Eleven minutes and thirty seven seconds left. The backup quarterbacks, or at least the there's Roger Worley. You got Sabrina, Jared, and Carol in that team. You know they're gonna be Texans after this game. Second down. What a terrible pass. <laughs> Roger Worley. John Nyland. There's a throwback player. There's a, a Calvin Miles Austin. You know he's going to be with the Texans. Third down. Cardinals made a first down. Uh, 
I don't know who that Texan was trying to sack, but there was nobody back there. <laughs> Invisible player. Nice. There he goes. First down. Excuse me. Uh, excuse me, who are you? I'm Judge the Skeleton. Ah, oh, you're a broadcaster. Um, I, I've heard some of your games from last season. Well, that's good. I've been hearing them too. Oh my god. So, uh, you gonna be helping me out? I'm gonna be doing the best I can with all the critters that are out there. Huh? What? You're British, right? Yes, son. Yes, so what? And there he goes. Roger World is brought down. 99. You're thinking about football? You know what I think about football? I used to play the football. I was a receiver. And also, I also played defensive. Oh, really? I'm thinking about going out there and trying out. Texans? Oh, I think so. Give it a shot. Uh, interesting. That's my buddy out there, HT Bum. Oh, really? You know him. From the farm, Iowa. Oh, so both of you were out there in the farm together. Yeah, Slam Dunk Gomez, our drummer. Oh, you were in a band a long time ago. Goo for Bones. What? Oh, there goes. Oh my gosh, number 80. Touchdown. Roger Worley to number 80. I think that's Jared. Oh my god. That is Jared. He's going to be with the Texans. Oh, no, that's somebody else. I'm not sure. It was mostly the tang with the clean. She was doing her knickers and the again. And everybody was like saying, Can we help? Did you say something? That's Jessica, a newbie. Second and fourth. I know everybody was talking about the birds and they all were lovely little lasses. So we all had to give them a couple of good children to kiss. Excuse me, you say something? First down, Jessica, the newbie. Second attempt. And that guy was munching on all the old scratchers. Oh, intercepted. Oh, um, my guess it looks like a intercepted. Yes, I'm glad you saw that. What's a scratcher? That's a little bit of the crackers. Oh, it's a cracker. It is a cracker. We call them crackers over there in, in Liverpool. Oh, you're from Liverpool. I'm from Liverpool, yeah. I was a teddy boy. A what? It's a teddy boy. We were scuffians. Oh, whatever. Scandrick, jobs back.
Those are pressed down. I was quite a scrap of myself on the football field. What? Did you say something? And most of the time, I was just like uh, catching the passes from H.T. Bum. Oh, he was a quarterback. He was a quarterback, and I used to catch him, and I used to run for the uh, first down. What? Did you say something? I believe that's a first down. Oh, in Liverpool, we have a soccer band. Well, this ain't soccer. It's just football. I think they're dead. Hurricanes and the tornadoes? Well, no, I don't think we're going to have a tornado around here or a hurricane. Good weather. I'm talking about the soccer game. Oh, no, this is not soccer. This is football. American football. Let's go. Oh, my gosh. He's having a meltdown again. Roger Worley. Orlando Scandrick. He's a nice chap. You know him? No. But how do you know if he's a nice chap or not? Well, he's not stabbing anybody. That's not a good thing to say. That makes him a nice chap. Interceptor by number 32. Cox. Is it like Cox? Yes, Cox. You mean Cox? Cox. Cox? Like a Cox sucker. Talking about Cox. C O X. Oh, okay. That's the very friend of something else. What? Did you say something? Seven minutes, 11 seconds left. I think HT Bonds better do something impressive. Interceptor. <laughs> My God. Some things never say what they get. So what was like AC Bomb when he was a teenager? He was a singer and we also used to go roughing around and roughhousing and play in the band at the jazz club. What? Did you say something? Well, we used to always play with Stanley Gomez and Cooper Bones and there was a bunch of us. The whole grade, a lot of us and we had girlfriends and all that. What? Did you say something? He was a nice chap. Had a gunfight one time. Who? What? HT Bomb? What are you talking about? HT Bomb had a gunfight? I'll tell you about it. Well, tell me about it. That's when he got published. It seems that this gang who was uh, his girlfriend's daddy moved from Detroit to the farm, but he had no idea how to do farming. And so he got in a debt and so part of the debt the repayment to the debt he had to convert the farm a certain acres to illegal cash crop marijuana and then, well the daughter the girlfriend of AC bomb was secretly selling the cash crop so she could save up the money and you know basically get out of there because that the enforcer for that that cartel guy was coming on to her. All this was happening in Iowa? Iowa? My God. So, H.T. Bum. There you go. Oh, look at that flip. <laughs> Roger Worley. <laughs> now go ahead. And then what happened? Oh, my God. Let me see that again. I don't think they're going to show it. Roger Worley. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's feeling dizzy. Dizzy, is he? Nah, I'm not just dizzy. So tell us more. Oh, another sack. Fourth down. 
Number 31. That was Gandrick. And then what happened? Well, it seems that the the gang was coming onto the farm when H.T. Bum was alone and he pulled out all his guns and had a big gunfight with the gang. And then the FBI came because they were watching with the drones and seems that they arrested the gang and H.T. Bum got a big reward, really. And then what happened? Then he went to New York. New York, don't really. Then he went to New York. Okay, hold that thought. First down. Four minutes and 49 seconds left. How long am I supposed to hold the dog? Just hold the dog. I'll get back to you in a while. Oh, intercepted again. <laughs> Just comes and goes, comes and goes like a revolving door. Does something impressive and then it gets intercepted. So when are we going to see Roger Staubach and Johnny Unitas and Victor and uh, anybody? I mean, trying to bring out the other quarterback. Seven and seven, four minutes and thirty-four left. Let me continue the story. Hold that thought. Just hold the thought. I'll get back to you. I got a couple other stories. Hold that thought. Just hold the thought. I'll get back to you. Let's go. Hey, throw it to nobody. Well, there was nobody there to throw it to. Third and six. Fourth down. Three minutes and fifty-seven. We're gonna see AC Palm again, or maybe Starback or Johnny and I, or Victor, some of the other quarterbacks. We're thinking about being a halftime band for the Super Bowl this coming season. Yeah, hold the dog. Just hold the dog. I'll get back to you. This is uh, Fast Talking Eddie, and this is Judge Skeleton bringing you the uh, preseason Houston Texans versus the Cardinals. HT Bomb. Oh my gosh, he's a quarterback now. Traded from the Chicago Bears to the Texans. So we can see him being intercepted. Oh, HB, he's back. Tom Landry showing favoritism for the boy. And there he goes. <laughs>
Down by Jackson. Third down. Oh my god. Tom Landry's favorite Undertaker Team Kong. He's a big fan of the Undertaker, the WWE. Oh wow, first down to uh, number 88. Everybody got shocked in Chicago when H.T. Bum out of nowhere threw a touchdown pass. Intercepted again. The only quarterback who can get intercepted and basically screw up and Tom Landry will keep him. It's like a father and son. Illegitimate son. H.T. Bum can do no wrong. Well, that's a job. I'd like to have. Uh, I'm sure you will be. We'll be seeing you out there with who else? Slam Dunk Gomez and Cooper Bonds, yeah, whatever. A smorgasbord of failure, disappointments, and heartbreak for all the Texan fans. Oh, wow. Smack from behind. That must have cracked his back. He hasn't had a psychological meltdown before, he's having it right now. But the only thing that's kind of delaying it, he's got to, he's got to pass it. It's a fumble, and recovered by the Cardinals. We're on third down. A minute 46 left in the first quarter. Fourth down. We had lots of laughs along with the old days. Okay, hold that thought. I'll get back to you. Okay, let's see who comes up. Which quarterback is it going to be? A minute four left. T-Bomb is still there. Oh, he did something again. <laughs> By, <laughs> By Jared. Oh. 
Oh my god, this is a crazy circus. How much more will Tom Landry tolerate before he brings on another quarterback? I mean, they got Johnny Unitas there, Roger Starback, <laughs> and this new kid, Victor, a newbie. Oh, wow, look at that. Cardinals are winning 10 to 7. Sack. JJ Watt. The saving grace for the Texans right now. They spent the whole last year rebuilding from scratch. And here they are doing it all over again. They're like a preseason team, a practice team for the Cardinals. And, well, they're better than the Cardinals. Third and goal. Well, actually, the defense of the Texans. But the, right now the offense and the Texas offense, they're, they're kind of on the bottom of the bucket. End of the first quarter. 